seeing a uniformed officer somewhere on the side of the road trying to identify those motors who are driving distracted who will then be pulled over down the road a bit and will receive a summons. So um, also on the traffic enforcement um, position, we're now taking a proactive enforcement in our neighborhoods that have been identified through resident complaints and collected data. Um, we're adding some signage and we're stepping up our site enforcement uh, actions in those neighborhoods. Um, same thing with the parking, especially around the school zones. Um, we will be uh, monitoring those roadways around the schools and we'll be taking enforcement action the days of warnings are over in those schools. We gave a little grace period on the opening day of school. It just overwhelmed the neighborhoods, especially around Silver Boulevard. So there's a grace period for one day with parking enforcement from this point forward. We'll be strictly enforcing park laws. Uh, the good news is that there have been no, as you know, no ordinances passed, no new signs up, uh, no new parking restrictions in any of those zones. So everything is left over from last year. So no one should be surprised in any of those neighborhoods in seeing uh, new signs. Uh, you know, on the crime front, it's been a relatively slow summer. Uh, we did have a couple car thefts. We had a couple um, thefts from cars. We come to find out that it wasn't necessarily the property and the cars that these people were targeting. They were simply looking for the key fobs in order to steal the cars but help themselves to any small pieces of property that were in the car. The three cars that we did have stolen this year have been recovered. They have been returned to their owners. This investigation was led by another um, agency, so I'm not at liberty to discuss any of the information, I guess, until all the arrests are made. But the good news is those cars have been recovered and they've been returned.